Hello and welcome to the demo of the Sonic Zoom app for the NIME conference. Um, this is an app that was designed to compare two different interfaces. The first interface is a fairly standard slider interface. Um, control various parameters of a synthesizer. Filter cutoff and resonance, envelope shape, amount, reverb, FM, waveform and amplitude envelope. And the second interface is this 2D grid, which you can scroll and zoom. Now, as you can see, as you scroll on the 2D interface, the sliders change. And in fact, there's every single combination of these sliders somewhere on this grid. There's over a billion trillion of them. So it's a pretty big surface. So as you can see, you zoom in further and further, quite a long way, and at the bottom level, the slide is only changed by one unit per division. So this takes forever to change the sound, but as you zoom out, the sound changes more and more as you scroll. And each square here contains every single combination of these sliders changing by a certain amount. bigger squares contain bigger movements. So you can see this history path, so everywhere you go you can revisit. If you've listened to a point before it will show up as a blue circle and you can snap back to that circle and listen to what you've already done. If you want to save a point you can save a preset and it will show up as a dot on this surface. And you can explore sort of variations around these points. And if you move the sliders, obviously the surface moves too. So the users were shown just the zoom surface and then just the sliders and both in a random order. And the all the data was logged and analyzed and the interesting thing was that there was a hypothesis that the sliders would be used for convergent behavior and the zoomer would be used for divergent behavior. So the creative process would be something like you start off with the zoomer, you find something interesting, and then you fine tune it using these sliders. Because the predictability of the sliders is better for convergence, whereas the unpredictability is better for exploration. And uh, that was in fact what was found. After the experiment was over, you could add this smoothing mode, which meant that the sliders would change much smoother. You can also double tap a preset to scroll to it. You can also scroll through different sequences if you get bored of the original one. That's it, thank you very much.